Lily and the Groundhog's Prophecy In the heart of the Swiss Alps, where snow-kissed peaks pierce the azure sky, dwelled a peculiar people. Clad in simple white robes, their eyes held an ancient wisdom, a language that transcended words. They were the ethers, whisperers of the wind, kin to the elusive groundhogs that burrowed beneath the gnarled pines. Their origins were shrouded in mist, as old as the mountains themselves. Some claimed they descended from the stars, their sandals crafted from celestial metals, allowing them to skim across the glassy surfaces of alpine lakes. Others spoke of a forgotten time, when humans lived in harmony with nature, their senses attuned to the frequencies of the earth. No matter their origin, the ethers existed in perfect symbiosis with their environment. They breathed the crisp mountain air, their bodies fueled by the sun's caress and the earth's energy. Their eyes, though often closed, held the panorama of the mountains etched within, a constant tapestry woven from starlight and moonlight. One crisp morning, as the first rays of dawn kissed the mountain tops, a young ether named Anya stood poised at the edge of a glacial lake. Her white robe shimmered in the nascent light, her eyes closed yet seeing the world with perfect clarity. Today was the choosing, the day a young Aether embraced their destiny. Anya knelt, her bare feet touching the cool grass. She felt the earth thrum beneath her, its energy pulsing through her veins. She closed her eyes tighter, focusing on the whispers of the wind, the language of the mountains. A vision bloomed behind her eyelids. A young groundhog, caught in a rock slide, its brown fur dusted with fear. Anya gasped, her eyes snapping open. Her path was clear. With a whispered prayer to the mountains, she stepped onto the surface of the lake. Her copper sandals, imbued with the secrets of the earth, hummed with power. Anya walked across the water, her white form a stark contrast to the rippling blue canvas. As she reached the other side, the groundhog scurried towards her, its beady eyes wide with gratitude. Anya knelt, her touch gentle as she soothed the trembling creature. In that moment, a silent understanding passed between them, a communion of spirits as old as the mountains themselves. The choosing was over, Anya's destiny sealed. She was not just an ether, but a protector, a bridge between the human world and the whispers of the wild. But as the rising sun painting the sky in hues of gold and rose, Anya knew her journey had just begun. Anya's heart pounded with a rhythm that mimicked the thrumming of the earth beneath her feet. The vision of the distressed groundhog wasn't just a plea for help. It was a key unlocking a deeper mystery. As she soothed the trembling creature, she felt a tingle course through her fingertips, an echo of the vibrant blue energy she'd glimpsed in dreams, the energy that pulsed from the heart of the mountain. The groundhog, sensing her curiosity, let out a chirpy trill and darted towards a hidden crevice between moss-covered rocks. Anya, guided by an unseen force, followed. The passage narrowed, sunlight fading as she delved deeper. The air grew crisp, charged with an electric hum. When she finally emerged, she gasped. 
Before her lay a cavern bathed in an otherworldly glow. The source was a colossal crystal, its facets catching the faint light and refracting it into a mesmerizing dance of sapphire and azure. But it wasn't just its beauty that captivated Anya. The crystal pulsed with a rhythm that resonated with the tremors in her chest, a song sung in a language older than words. Suddenly, the groundhog reappeared, its beady eyes gleaming with an intelligence that belied its small stature. It chittered excitedly, nudging a worn leather-bound book nestled at the crystal's base. Anya picked it up, her fingers tracing the intricate symbols etched on its cover. As she did, a warmth spread through her palm, and the symbols came alive, shimmering with an inner light. The book pulsed with the same energy as the crystal, and Anya knew instinctively it held the key to the hidden reality she'd glimpsed. But the symbols remained stubbornly undecipherable, their meaning locked away in an alien tongue. The groundhog, sensing her frustration, let out a series of high-pitched squeaks, then scurried to a crevice near the crystal's base. With renewed determination, Anya followed. The crevice led to a narrow tunnel, barely wide enough for her to squeeze through. The air grew colder, the blue energy intensifying with each step. Finally, she emerged into another cavern, smaller but no less awe-inspiring. In the centre, a swirling vortex of blue energy pulsed like a beating heart. Anya felt an irresistible pull towards it, a yearning for a connection deeper than she could fathom. As she drew closer, the symbols on the book in her hand flowered to life, resonating with the energy of the vortex. Suddenly, the world dissolved around her. The cavern, the mountain, even her own body, all faded away. She found herself suspended in a void of swirling colours, a kaleidoscope of possibilities. Then, with a jolt, she landed, sprawled on soft, dew-kissed grass. The air was thick with the scent of unfamiliar flowers, the sky a swirling kaleidoscope of purples and greens. Anya sat up, bewildered, the book clutched tightly in her hand. Had she entered the other reality? Was this the source of the stories, the magic woven from the mountain's memories? The ground beneath her trembled, and a figure emerged from the tall grass. Tall and slender, with skin the colour of twilight, and eyes that shone like molten gold, they regarded Anya with curiosity. They spoke, their voice a melodious chime that resonated within her soul, though the words themselves were incomprehensible. Anya, emboldened by the groundhog's guidance and the book's vibrating energy, reached out with her mind, focusing on the symbols, willing them to translate. Slowly, haltingly, understanding seeped in. The figure smiled, a gesture that mirrored the warmth in their eyes. The journey to decipher the book, to unlock the secrets of the hidden reality, had just begun. Anya, the ether chosen by the groundhogs, had stumbled upon a truth far greater than she could have imagined. And as she stood in that alien world, the book a bridge between realities, she knew her destiny was intertwined with the fate of both worlds. The sunlight, pale and watery, filtered through the blinds, nudging Lily awake. The dream clung to her like morning mist, vivid and strangely persistent. 
the white-clad figures, the mountain that pulsed with blue energy, the groundhog that led her to a book whispering stories. It all felt more like a memory than a dream. A shiver of excitement danced down her spine. This wasn't just any dream. This was something more. She scrambled out of bed, a familiar hunger gnawing at her stomach. Pancakes, she decided, with a dollop of strawberry jam just like Grandma used to make. Fueled by the sweetness, Lily rushed to the library, her worn copy of Legends of the Land tucked under her arm. She needed answers, and the dusty tomes lining the library shelves whispered promise. Groundhogs, she thought, flipping through the index. Nothing. Disappointment gnawed at her, but then, tucked in a forgotten corner, she spotted a slender book titled Mysteries of the Unseen. Intrigued, she opened it. The pages crackled, filled with faded sketches and handwritten notes. One page jumped out. It depicted a mountain, eerily similar to the one in her dream, its peak capped with a swirling blue energy. Beside it, a crude drawing of a white-clad figure holding a book. Below, a single handwritten sentence, Seek the Whisperers, Child of the Plains, They Hold the Key. Lily's breath caught in her throat. Whisperers, the white figures from her dream. Could it be a coincidence? No, a chill ran down her spine. This was the answer she craved. But where were these whisperers? How could she find them? Suddenly, the book pulsed with a faint warmth. The words on the page shimmered, rearranging themselves into a new message. Follow the call of the burrower. Trust the path unseen. Lily gasped. The library, with its silence and dusty smell, faded away. She found herself surrounded by tall grass, the crisp mountain air filling her lungs. Panic threatened to rise, but then she saw it. A small brown head poking out of a hole at the base of a towering mountain. It was the groundhog, its beady eyes gleaming with ancient wisdom. It chirped and scurried towards a hidden path, beckoning Lily to follow. Trusting her instincts, she plunged into the undergrowth, the dream and reality blurring into one extraordinary adventure. Lily slammed the library door shut just as the old clock chimed six. Disappointment settled in her stomach like a lead weight. The mysteries of the unseen had left more questions than answers, and the cryptic final message, follow the call of the burrower, trust the path unseen, offered little guidance. She needed someone who understood whispers, unseen paths, and maybe even groundhogs. Her mind leaped to Uncle Leo, her eccentric hermit of an uncle who lived in a creaky old cabin on the edge of town. Rumors swirled around him about strange nocturnal habits and conversations with unseen creatures. Lily figured if anyone knew about whisperers and hidden paths, it would be him. The cabin, overgrown with wildflowers, seemed deserted. Just as Lily turned to leave, a voice boomed from within. Come in, come in, child of the plains. Uncle Leo was everything the rumors promised, and more. His wild beard tangled with stray leaves. His eyes seemed to twinkle at unseen stars. He bustled about, offering dandelion tea and stale cookies without acknowledging her frantic questions about the book. Groundhogs, eh? He finally muttered, stroking his beard. Aye, those little fellas hold secrets older than the mountains themselves. Why, back in my pest control days. He trailed off, eyes glazing over. Lily waited, hoping for insight, but Uncle Leo seemed lost in another world. He regaled her with tales of strange smells, phantom rustles, and the day he found a perfectly formed acorn nestled in his shoe. It was fascinating, frustrating, and utterly unhelpful. So, about groundhogs, she pressed, but he cut her off with a chuckle. Ah, those furry fellas, he winked, no more than they let on. But some secrets are best left undisturbed, wouldn't you say? Dejected, Lily left the cabin, the riddle of the whisperers unsolved. On her way home, 
the setting sun painted the sky in hues of orange and purple, oddly reflecting the swirling colors in her dream. As she drifted off to sleep, the dream returned, pulling her back to the mountain and the path beyond the groundhog's burrow. This time, she wasn't alone. The white-clad figures materialized before her, their eyes pools of wisdom. They spoke, not in words, but in emotions and images that flooded her mind. The mountain pulsed with renewed intensity, the book in her hand thrumming in response. Suddenly, the vision shifted. She was back in the library, standing before the mysteries of the unseen. The page she'd read earlier glowed faintly, the hidden message morphing into a new one. Seek the echo within, child of the plains. Unlock the key to unseen realms. Lily woke with a start, the dream's message echoing in her heart. Could the echo be within Uncle Leo's cryptic ramblings? Did the key truly lie within the secrets of the groundhogs? She had more questions than ever, but this time, she had a glimmer of hope. The whispered path wouldn't be easy, but she was determined to follow it, one step at a time. Disappointment gnawed at Lily when she had left Uncle Leo's cabin. His riddles offered no clear answers, and the dream's cryptic message felt taunting. Yet, a spark of determination flickered within her. Maybe the key wasn't in Uncle Leo's words, but in his actions. Lily scoured her memories of her uncle's eccentricities. Had there been anything, any clue he might have inadvertently revealed? Days turned into weeks, her frustration mounting. Then, during a visit to clean his cluttered cabin, she stumbled upon a dusty trunk tucked away in a corner. Inside, amidst moth-eaten clothes and trinkets, lay a single object that sent shivers down her spine. A solitary copper sandal, intricately etched with swirling symbols. Tentatively, she picked it up. It felt strangely warm, pulsing with a faint energy. To her astonishment, it fit her foot perfectly, as if molded for her alone. Suddenly, a flicker on the old TV caught her eye. Hitting play, she watched mesmerized as a grainy video unfolded. It showed Uncle Leo kneeling in a field, seemingly talking to thin air. Then, a groundhog emerged, chittering excitedly. Uncle Leo responded, nodding and chuckling. Though no words were audible, an undeniable understanding flowed between them. Lily gasped. Her uncle could indeed talk to the groundhogs. Did that mean... A wild theory bloomed in her mind. Could her connection to the Whisperers go beyond just reading about them? Could she, just like the figures in her dream, possess abilities she never knew she had? As if confirming her thoughts, the air in the room crackled with energy. The copper sandal on her foot glowed, its symbols flaring to life. A tingling sensation spread through her body, followed by a vision a sprawling landscape bathed in golden light, teeming with life and harmony. This wasn't just a dream. It was a glimpse of a world she could help create. But how? The answer came not from within, but from outside. A frantic, scratching sound filled the air, emanating from beneath the floorboards. A groundhog, larger than any she'd seen, burst through the rotting wood, its beady eyes pleading for help. This wasn't just any groundhog, it was the one from her dream, the guide chosen by the Whisperers. It carried a small, intricately carved wooden box, pulsating with the same golden energy as her vision. It nudged the box towards her, its gaze locked on hers. In that moment, Lily understood. The Whispers weren't just voices in the wind, they were a call to action. The golden vision wasn't just a dream, it was a future she could help build. The copper sandal wasn't just an ornament. It was a key, a link to a forgotten power within her. With newfound purpose, Lily knelt beside the groundhog, accepting the box. The world felt different now, charged with possibility. 
The whispers, once faint, now resonated within her, guiding her towards a destiny far greater than she could have imagined. The worn wooden box pulsed with a fading golden light as Lily pried it open. Inside, nestled against soft velvet, lay a single unassuming acorn. Disappointment tugged at her, a bitter contrast to the exhilarating warmth just moments ago. Was this it? Could something so ordinary hold the key to the future she'd glimpsed? Then, a memory sparked. Uncle Leo, his eyes twinkling, whispering about strange gifts and the day he found a perfect acorn in his shoe. A shiver ran down her spine. This wasn't just any acorn. It was a seed of remembrance, an echo of her forgotten connection to the whispers. As she held the acorn, a warmth bloomed in her hand, spreading through her body. The world sharpened, details coming alive with an unseen vibrancy. The chirping of birds became a symphony, the rustling leaves whispered secrets on the wind. And the groundhog, its beady eyes reflecting an ancient wisdom, spoke. Not in words, but in emotions and images that flooded her mind, a language of nature she somehow understood. It spoke of fear, of a darkness creeping towards their haven, a threat beyond their understanding. The dreams, it revealed, were pleas for help, whispers carried on the wind to one who could understand. Lily's heart pounded. This wasn't just about understanding, it was about action. She looked at the groundhog, its gaze filled with hope, and nodded resolutely. Taking a deep breath, she stepped into the hidden burrow, the earth swallowing her whole. The tunnel wound deeper, the air thick with damp earth and the musky scent of countless burrows. Finally, they emerged into a vast cavern, its walls shimmering with bioluminescent fungi, casting an ethereal glow. Hundreds of groundhogs of all sizes bustled about, their chatter a symphony of anxiety. Lily felt a wave of empathy wash over her. Their fear was tangible, but beneath it glimmered a fierce determination to protect their home. An elderly groundhog, adorned with intricate markings, stepped forward. He spoke, not in the language of whispers, but in a voice that resonated within her soul. He spoke of an ancient prophecy, of a darkness rising from the forgotten depths of the mountain, a creature of shadow and greed that threatened to consume their world. They had tried everything, seeking help from the ancient trees, the whispering streams, but none could understand the whispers as she did. They needed her, the Chosen One, the bridge between their world and the one above. Lily stood tall, the weight of their hope settling on her shoulders. Though fear flickered, it was overshadowed by a newfound purpose. She was no longer just Lily, the curious girl with strange dreams. She was the Whispered One, the Protector, the beacon of hope in the face of darkness. Looking at the groundhogs, their eyes filled with trust and anticipation, Lily smiled. I'm here, she whispered, her voice echoing in the cavern. And together, we will face the darkness. Lily at 13, was a walking paradox. On the one hand, a quintessential teenager navigating the awkward halls of middle school, obsessed with the latest memes and yearning for the social currency of likes on her YouTube channel. Yet, beneath the veneer of braces and band tees, lurked an intellect that crackled with electricity. From a young age, her parents, a bookish librarian mother and a computer programmer father, had recognized the spark in their daughter. Chess pieces became pawns in Lily's strategic mind at the tender age of five, while coding languages flowed from her fingertips like second nature. Her nerd nook videos, where she demystified complex algorithms and built virtual worlds, 
had garnered a loyal following online, earning her the moniker Tech Pixie. This unlikely combination, tech whiz and social chameleon, held the key to Lily's destiny as she stood in the bioluminescent cavern, chosen champion of the whispers. She knew the approaching darkness wouldn't be vanquished by brute force. This enemy, fueled by greed and technology gone awry, required a different kind of weapon. One forged from Lily's unique understanding of both worlds. The groundhogs, though wise in their ancient ways, lacked the tools to combat the creature's technological prowess. This is where Lily stepped in. Using her programming skills, she deciphered the creature's encrypted communication, discovering its vulnerabilities. She drew inspiration from the whispering language, creating coded signals that disrupted the creature's systems, causing confusion amongst its robotic minions. But technology alone wasn't enough. Lily, remembering her father's stories of medieval battles, rallied the groundhogs. Combining their agility with her strategic mind, she devised a plan that utilized the cavern's natural defenses. Stalactites became battering rams. Bioluminescent fungi served as blinding flares. The groundhogs, emboldened by her leadership, fought with newfound courage. The battle raged, echoing through the cavernous depths. Lily, her fingers flying over the keyboard of the laptop she always carried with her, sent wave after wave of disruptive code. The creature, its power waning, roared in frustration, unleashing destructive energy blasts. But the groundhogs, guided by Lily's whispers, dodged and weaved, their burrows providing safe havens. Finally, with a triumphant surge of code, Lily delivered the final blow. The creature, its control systems failing, collapsed with a groan of defeat. The cavern fell silent, save for the relieved chirps of the groundhogs. Lily, exhausted but exhilarated, had not only saved the whispers but discovered a strength she never knew she possessed. Her unique blend of intellect, tech savviness, and leadership had proven to be the most potent weapon against darkness. As the groundhogs celebrated their victory, showering her with glowing seeds of gratitude, Lily knew this was just the beginning. Stepping out of the cavern, Lily emerged into a world eerily different. The familiar hum of technology was absent, replaced by an unsettling silence. Smartphones lay dormant, screens blank, their digital souls seemingly vanished. Panic flickered in her chest, but it was quickly overshadowed by a dawning understanding. Her victory over the darkness had inadvertently triggered a domino effect. Disrupting the creature's control had sent shockwaves through the digital landscape, corrupting and ultimately erasing its invasive code. In essence, she had pulled the plug on a malevolent system, but in doing so, plunged the town into a technological blackout. Cars sat stranded, their engines refusing to ignite. ATMs spat out error messages, mocking the outstretched hands seeking cash. The once cacophony of notifications was replaced by an awkward symphony of human voices rediscovering the forgotten art of conversation. Shops resorted to bartering and handwritten signs, a throwback to a simpler time. Yet, amidst the chaos, Lily glimpsed a spark of hope. Children, freed from the hypnotic glow of screens, explored the world with renewed curiosity. Families gathered around kitchen tables, stories replacing mindless scrolling. A shared sense of vulnerability fostered genuine connection, a stark contrast to the isolating echo chambers of social media. The whispers, ever-present, resonated with a new clarity. They spoke of interconnection, of a world pulsing with life beyond the digital veil. Lily, the tech pixie, felt a new calling bloom within her. This wasn't just a technological crisis. It was an opportunity to rewrite the narrative, to build a future where technology served humanity, not the other way around. 
Armed with her ingenuity and the whispers as her guide, Lily began crafting a solution. She gathered discarded electronics, their innards holding the potential for something better. Drawing inspiration from the Groundhog's communication, she envisioned a network that mimicked their bioluminescent signals, a web of light pulsing with information and understanding. It wouldn't be easy. She faced skepticism from technology-reliant adults and the impatience of younger generations yearning for their digital lives. But Lily, fueled by the newfound connection in the community and the whispers urging her forward, persevered. Days turned into weeks, her makeshift workshop buzzing with the hum of creation. Finally, she unveiled her prototype, a device that translated the whispers into digital signals, weaving a network of light that pulsed with information and stories. It was slow, imperfect, but it worked. As the network spread, cautiously embraced by the community, something magical happened. The town rediscovered the art of storytelling, sharing knowledge and experiences through the Whisper's language. Technology, stripped of its harmful aspects, became a tool for connection, not isolation. Lily, the Whispered Champion, had bridged the gap between worlds, not just defeating darkness, but forging a new dawn. The journey, however, was far from over. Whispers spoke of other threats, hidden forces manipulating the world of shadows, and Lily, ever the protector, knew she was ready to face them, her heart filled with the power of community and the whispers guiding her way. Lily swung by Uncle Leo's cabin, the scent of pine needles and wood smoke clinging to the air. The old man, looking spryer than he had in months, greeted her with a warm smile and a twinkle in his eye. Lily's parents, rejuvenated by their health home trip in Switzerland, were off on another adventure, leaving a comfortable quietude in their wake. Lily? Leo greeted, his eyes twinkling. Come in, come in. Lily perched on the edge of the worn armchair, fiddling with a loose thread on the cushion. Across from her, Leo sat bundled in a blanket, a gentle smile playing on his lips. The fire crackled softly in the hearth, casting dancing shadows on the walls. Remember the stories of the girl with the closed eyes? Lily broke the comfortable silence, her voice soft. Leo chuckled. The fearless one? Her eyes was closed, but she bumped into nothing. She saved a groundhog stuck in the thorns and insisted that I took care of it. Lily's eyes widened. And the gift? A bronze sandal? She pulled hers out. A flicker of recognition lit up Leo's eyes. The very same, I imagine. A token from a remarkable young woman. Not unlike the remarkable young woman sitting before me. He reached out taking her hand in his. It was cool and very small, but filled with a strength that surprised him. Lily, he said, his voice thick with emotion, you carry within you a legacy far older than you can imagine. It's a responsibility, yes, but one you're more than capable of handling. After all, you've already faced darkness and emerged victorious. Lily squeezed his hand, a small, determined smile on her lips. I know, Uncle Leo, and I'm not afraid. Not anymore. Suddenly, a sharp ringtone pierced the quiet. Lily fumbled for her phone, her eyes widening as she saw the message. Leo received the same chime a moment later, his brow furrowing. The garbage mountain? Lily read aloud, her voice laced with trepidation. They want us there, Leo confirmed, his eyes filled with a curious mix of apprehension and excitement. He stood up, a little wobbly at first, but Lily quickly steadied him. Hand in hand, they stepped out into the twilight, the setting sun painting the sky in fiery hues. The path leading up the mountain was steep and arduous, but they forged ahead, 
fueled by a shared sense of purpose. Reaching the summit, they gasped. At the peak, bathed in moonlight, stood Anya, the Whisperer, and the enigmatic creature from Lily's dream. Anya's voice, clear and strong, carried on the crisp air. Lily, your story goes back millions of years, she began. We, the Whisperers, came from another world with a special seed, like an acorn, holding the spark of life. With the help of the groundhogs, then wise and much closer to humans, we planted this seed on Earth. She held up a glowing acorn, its magic tangible. This seed combined the groundhog's essence with ours, creating the first humans. The whisperers watched over them, and the seed's energy, passed down through generations, gave each human a touch of magic. Anya's gaze turned to Lily, filled with warmth and purpose. Lily, you carry that magic within you. You are the vessel of the acorn's power, the bridge between worlds. But darkness threatens this magic, and you are chosen to protect it. Lily felt a shiver run down her spine, mingled with a spark of courage. I... she started, uncertain yet determined. Leo squeezed her hand. You can do this, Lily. Remember, bravery isn't the absence of fear, it's facing it head on. Anya smiled. He's right. The Whisperers are with you. The Groundhogs guide you, and the Acorn's magic strengthens you. This path won't be easy, but remember, even heroes need pancakes sometimes, especially your grandma's recipe with all that strawberry jam. Lily chuckled, the tension easing. I won't forget, she promised, her voice ringing with newfound resolve. I'll be brave, for the Whisperers for the groundhogs, for humanity, and for pancakes, Anya winked. That's the spirit, Lily. The whispers are always with you. Listen to them, and they'll guide you home. With a final wave, Anya and the creature vanished, leaving Lily and Leo bathed in moonlight. The weight of destiny settled on Lily's shoulders, but she stood tall, the whispers echoing within, the promise of pancakes warming her spirit and the adventure just beginning. As they descended the rocky path, the weight of their newfound purpose settling comfortably on their shoulders. Lily, a smile playing on her lips, hummed a jaunty tune, the echo of Anya's words warming her spirit. Suddenly, their phones chimed in unison, shattering the peaceful silence. Leo fumbled with his his brow furrowing as he read the message. Lily, curious, peeked at hers. The screen displayed a single, ominous sentence. Meet me at the Whispering Falls. Dawn breaks. A shiver danced down Lily's spine. The darkness, the creature she fought with, materialized into a new, tangible threat. Fear, a cold serpent, coiled in her stomach. Leo, however, surprised her. He burst into laughter, a hearty guffaw that echoed through the mountains. Darkness wants to meet for tea and crumpets, eh? He chuckled, wiping a tear from his eye. Fancy that. Though I must say, dawn is an awfully early hour for such social gatherings. Lily blinked, unsure how to react. Was he mad? Did he not understand the gravity of the situation? Perhaps it's a test she ventured, her voice laced with apprehension. Maybe it wants to gauge our courage. Leo snorted. Courage. Or our breakfast preferences. I, for one, wouldn't trust anyone who schedules meetings before pancakes. With a mischievous glint in his eye, he reached into his pocket and pulled out his phone. With a tap of his finger, the message vanished. Lily gasped. You deleted it, she exclaimed. What if it's important? Leo winked. Perhaps it is, perhaps it isn't. But one thing's for sure, a hero needs her rest and a full stomach to face any darkness, be it metaphorical or the kind with pointy teeth. He slung an arm around her shoulder, his warmth grounding her. As they continued their descent, the fear slowly dissipated, replaced by a spark of defiance. 
Maybe Leo was right. Maybe facing the darkness could wait until after a plate piled high with fluffy pancakes, drenched in strawberry jam, and sprinkled with a generous helping of courage. Lily reached into her pocket, her fingers brushing against the worn copper sandal. The whispers, faint but persistent, urged her forward. The path wasn't clear, but she wasn't alone. She had Leo, the groundhogs, and the magic of the acorn within her. And for now, that was enough. Together they walked towards the warm glow of home, the promise of pancakes, a delicious melody in the air. The darkness could wait. But Lily, the tech pixie and the whispered champion, would be ready when it did. The whispers would continue, their message echoing through the ages, reminding Lily and the world of the magic that lay just beyond the veil.